all right guys welcome back to another episode here on the channel this is existence smp episode five uh, already five episodes on this series as you can tell i was just gathering a ton of stone for our episode for today uh today we are going to be doing quite a large project uh possibly even larger than our house project maybe not uh maybe uh but it is definitely a large project i mean talk about that here for a little bit and i want to first go uh deposit the stone that i just collected and sleep away the night um but i hope y'all just uh saw those grass and dirt textures because i have taken Braden's textures that he's made and they're very nice and added them to my own little pack here that I just have a, a few things on and I, I really like them he did a really good job or wh I don't know he has a resource pack video if I remember I'll try and link it in the description of this video you guys can go and watch it uh, he did he's a really artistic guy and he did a really good job putting this pack together uh, so I thought I and I and I really like the grass, so I thought I'd throw it on for myself, and uh, I'm really happy I did. I'm gonna throw that in there and just throw that also in there since I don't have any coal ready. Um, but let's sleep real quick, and I also changed the the, uh, the foliage and grass color again. I just upped the the green just a little bit more. Uh, you know, since we mainly live in this biome, and I love green grass, I, I it was still a little bit too bland for me, so I just gave it a little bit more of that foresty green look. Um, but yeah, what he's done is he's taken, I'm pretty sure this is just the normal grass texture on top, but then he's extended it down um, so that it's not just a lip that like pretty much ends right here, but it goes ha pretty much halfway down the block, and then the dirt is a little bit different as well. I'm not sure if the coarse dirt texture is different or anything, but I know the dirt one was, and it looked weird with just changing the grass, so I had to change the grass and the dirt, but I think it's a very nice dirt. Uh, it looks, you know, pretty similar to cobblestone, but like, where it's got, you know, these ridges. Anyways, uh, I'm going to stop talking about that because this is probably going to be a long enough episode as it is, but I wanted to real quick, uh, before we started, run over to the shop uh, that we made in the last episode. If you want to see how I built this, definitely go check it out. Uh, it'll be on the end screen more than likely. But yeah, this is our enchanted bookshop and I wanted to see the cells. Let's do mending. Yeah, I didn't think there'd be any mending books since this was uh, originally five diamonds. I've got to come back here with white dye and dye that. Uh, but I moved them down to three diamonds. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so how much is that? That's seven diamonds there. Oh, there's eight there. None there. Oh, two there. All right, so we made seven cells here, two here, and one here, I think. So that's pretty awesome. 17 diamonds just off of our first couple of days. This thing is paying off already. Uh, I'll be sure to stock up uh, another Silk Touch book and a few more Unbreaking books whenever I get the chance. But this is something that uh, still needs fixed. I, I should talk to him about this because the when there's snow... It, it it's different see this dirt versus this is the default dirt so i need to talk to him about that and get that fixed because that's kind of a major issue here uh i'm sure he made a texture for it and i just didn't find it or or added it in incorrectly so yeah so now let's talk real quick about what i want to be doing yeah and i feel like there's got to be a texture for this dirt as well because that that just stands out and, and i'm going to be using some of that today hopefully so let's talk real quick about um you know what i'm doing here this episode we talked in episode two when i built the house about what was going to happen right here and i'm not sure but i think i mentioned that i'd change this and build it up and add a bridge and i thought i toyed with the idea of building like you know a very man-made looking bridge but my thing is landscaping and i, I really want to show that to people um i excel at landscaping and i think i should embrace that so i am going to make a natural looking archway uh, that arches from here to there and uh, fix the river up underneath here make it all pretty looking so that's what the stone is for i got to get some andesite i got to get a bunch of dirt but yeah that's what our materials are for and that's what they're going to be used for so i'm going to do a little bit of planning out here and then i will be back all right i am in this location <laughs> and if you come out here we've got a nice little piece of you know stretch of land coming right across here uh, this is just a basic layout, um, and I've also gotten this ready to fill this in with water, um, 
and I've got a very, very basic, simple arch uh, blocked in. Um, but I'm going to go on ahead and start doing, you know, like the actual work of like placing stone uh, and, you know, really working on this. I think I'm going to tear this whole hill out and have it stretch back and slowly like come across. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll update probably every hour or two's worth of work. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get, get to work really. I'm, I'm going to get to work. This project is happening now. Whew. Got to mentally prepare myself. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, I've been working for quite some time. I'm going to take quite a step back and do a turnaround. Whew. Oh man, that is, that's already looking really, really good. Um, but now I've got to do, uh, the detailing and I have not done the other side really either. I did just a little bit of minor detailing. Um, so I'll be doing stuff like this, you know, slabs, stairs, um, adding andesite and cobblestone, but I still have to work out this side, uh, quite a bit. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here or if I'm just going to leave this. Uh, I like what I did here, but I kind of want to then bring this back down and then pull this terraforming down again. Uh, and then I have to finish this up right here as well. Uh, and I think I'm going to remove that tree because it's just ugly. Uh, so yeah, got a lot more work to do. Uh, so going to get back to it. All right, guys, it is the next day now. Uh, I did quite a bit of work last night, and I thought I'd, you know, go to sleep, uh, and I'd update you uh, this morning. Uh, so, yeah, this is kind of what we're working with now. I'm really, really liking it. Um, I actually don't like how that peeks through. Um, I want to have it peek through. I just I just don't know where because I don't like that because it feels like it's disconnected, um, like the grass. So I'm going to connect that back up. Uh, and then do some more detailing, but this is the detailing I have done now. Uh, really like it. And I think I've done most of the other side, or at least some of it. I mean, you know, it, it's been a while. You know, I did it last night, it really late. Uh, yeah, so this side is pretty much done, uh, which is nice. I'll probably add like coarse dirt up on top and stuff and do some of that later. Uh, but the, the main, like, work of the actual terraforming is done, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, I'll get back to work. Uh, I also have to do some more things uh, over here for this episode to finish it on up. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do some more terraforming uh, and then I'll, I'll come back. All right, guys, I am pretty much almost done. Uh, I've got to do just a little bit more path work and I'm going to go on ahead uh, on camera here, just laying some bone notes, do a little bit of easy work while we're talking about this. Uh, let me come over here and kind of show you uh, the angle from here. So this is what it's looking like on this side, all done and dusted. And uh, should add some bone note down here as well. I really just want to grassy this area up. Get out of here, flowers. Just the grass. Just the grass. Because if you keep flowers, that's just lazy bone mealing. Um, unless you're really going for flowers, which I'm not here. Because uh, I don't want to. Okay. Let's break that. And on this side, I've finally worked our path down on this side. Finally, I could really even connect it up here. And it looks like, I'm guessing that's going to be Noah. Uh, he's got a little house right there. So yeah, I've got a path working down this way that leads out to here. Uh, to this dock, there's glowstone underneath these. Lighting it up. And I'm going to add our final bridge right here and then connect the path to right there. Uh, here soon. Uh, just probably going to do it off camera uh, between this episode and the next. But yeah, let's get in here and add some tall grass wherever we can. Alright. And uh, give me one there. And let's go over here to this side as well. Uh, I'm, I think my favorite part about this is actually um this like pathway part where because it, it winds it goes this way and then up and then that way and then up and then up to there uh, i i really like that part uh i'm not gonna add any more bone meal over here because uh, that's all snow uh, i will definitely add it along this pathway where i can get to it yes just like that is how i want it and i can get a couple tall ones there that's fine come on there we go there we go. Sweet. Yeah, so I'm really happy with how this turned out. I hope you guys are too. I, I've already talked to Yogg and Peach, and I know they really like it. 
because uh, they were on yesterday while I was working a little bit. I think they might be doing a project just barely past this uh, here upcoming shortly. It's going to be really awesome from what they heard talking about. I'm not sure if they've revealed their project yet, so I'm not going to say anything uh, as to spoil. But if you want to see it, I'm sure it'll be going up soon on their channel. So you should definitely go over there and check out their videos. Uh, they put in a lot of work, both of them, uh, to making great content for you guys, just like I do. Uh, but yeah, let's get some more bone meal in here. Get rid of these flowers. Sweet, sweet. Just a little bit more up here. Don't like anything that just happened there. Come on. I give up. And let's just do a little bit more on the edges of our overhang here. So that you can see it from where I want to take the screenshot, which we can do together as well. It's daytime. And I really shouldn't add too much here. Or really, I should... This, this will all get snowed in, actually, so I might go over and uh, get rid of that later. Because that should become snow. Or it might be hanging over so much into the quote-unquote river biome that it's no longer uh, like going to get snowed in. Uh, but we'll see. So, I think I want to take the screenshot from right somewhere over here where I can get this and this cliff and a little bit of house in it as well. So, I think this would be a good thing. Normally, I take the screenshots off camera, but I think it'd be a good thing to uh, grab our screenshot for the day towards the end of every episode uh, to show what we did this episode. Yeah, I, I really like this right here. So, gonna grab it. Make sure we got it. We did. All right, guys. So, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed making it. This place is starting to look freaking amazing. Really starting to turn out awesome. Uh, we've let the, the ice grow again uh, over here, and I just keep the, the lighting on the path itself and not melting the ice uh, so it feels more snowy and cold because we did want that, and I, I just seem to forget that. But yeah, uh, I really like this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too, <laughs> as I keep saying. Um, but anyways, if you really liked it, um, be sure to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. Um, no real schedule, but you know, existence videos, uh, single player videos, and maybe some more things. Who knows? Uh, but anyways, I really enjoyed making this video, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.